Welcome back, guys, to another episode here on the Unobtained World. <laughs> Flashy Elytras. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? How do you guys like my Elytra? It is doing really nice, not gonna lie. It, it looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so... Guys, it's episode 30. Pretty cool. Um, last episode, we worked on the some stuff in the whip building, and we did this little campsite here. And we also did some stuff up in here with some villagers, and we got this nitwit with trades. <laughs> so if you haven't seen last episode, go ahead and check it out before you watch this one. But oh, today's episode is going to be another interesting one. Today we must we must go to a dark oak forest. Yeah, we need dark oak wood for a build. Um, but uh, I'm not going to reveal to you guys what, what the actual unobtainable is for today. I'm going to let you guys keep guessing until I reveal it in like two seconds. And that is AFK Fishing. And like that, we get fish and stuff. We just got two. Anyways, it takes quite some time to do AFK Fishing, but the cool thing about this version, 16W38A, is that from fishing, when you get water bottles, instead of getting water bottles, you get uh, uncraftable potions. So. That's pretty cool, um, and that's basically why we're doing this, because it's one of the methods to get uncraftable, uncraftable potions. Um, the other way is using an enchantment table and stacked bottles, but uh, this is the way to get them without needing any stacked stuff. However, stacking comes in 112, so uh, yeah, now if you guys are wondering what this house looks like, because you probably saw some of it in the montage that I put together. Um, it was a design that our Torvian helped me out build. He basically showed me a lot of cool tricks in making details and cool stuff building because I'm not like the most talented builder, but this definitely proves otherwise, even though I had a ton of help, uh, thanks our Torvian. So as you can see, it's like a fishing hut. It's got like this mossy cobble and all this stuff. We designed it with the programmer art, but in the modern versions. So, cause we had a server for that. And uh, yeah, you can see it's, a really nice looking house. Here's the house uh, as it's just turning to day here. Ah uh, yes, looks very nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful build. Anyways, with the build out of the way and you guys all very excited for my epic building skills. Not really, they're Artorvian's building skills. Um, I would like to go ahead and um, we need to go AFK the fish farm because otherwise we're not going to be getting those bottles. Um, but I will meet you guys right back after I've AFK'd for uh, a few hours and probably gotten some of those bottles. And my fishing rod broke. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, let's check out what we got here. And would you look at that? We have one uncraftable potion. That's what we were aiming for here, guys. Might as well take the puffer fish too. It's our spirit animal and the name tag. Um, so yeah guys this actually paid off really well because we got to make an epic building and we got to uh, get our our unobtainable uh, so i am going to go afk fishing a little bit more so i can have a couple more but this one's going to go to the uh unobtainable locker right for for right now um i, I don't think we're going to make a exhibit in the whip building today for this one i think we're just going to do an episode where we just make whip building exhibits but today is not that day and there we go we get our uncraftable potion into our uh, unobtainable chest here with some weird stuff going on epic epic okay 
The one thing I would like to do um, to add to the whip building, actually, uh, we're not going to be making an exhibit for the uncraftable potion quite yet, as there's some more stuff we got to gather in later versions um, for that to be a complete exhibit. But if we go over here, uh, we can go ahead and add a sign uh, for one of my very, very, very valuable um, and great members of the unobtained community, and his name is Blue Crab, and he wanted to be put next to the brewing stand with uh, invalid items. So let's go ahead and put this here. So. Just like that. And there we go. So uh, for this one here, we actually have to change the sign here, F3B. Uh, and there we go, guys. So we have a little bit of an archive now, and that's a great, that's a great idea. I'm gonna have to go back and check these things um, because I've already forgotten exactly what version. But uh, yeah, thank you Blue Crab for being part of the community and thank you Slim Jim for being part of the community. Uh, we're gonna slowly add more and more people to the uh, whip building. And uh, also, as I mentioned last episode, um, I will be kind of more promoting my um, Patreon because that will actually help with uh, making sure this, this is kind of a sustainable thing for me to do and do uh, college. Here. So if I'm making a little bit of money, it's good to have that. And so um, for a reward um, for tier two or three, uh, you basically get to have you pick where you want your name in the whip building. And I'll go ahead and put it there as long as there's not a sign already there. So anyway, there's a couple more things we can do in 111. And one has to do with Blue Crab and Bayou's discovery of the potion stands. So if we put a potion stand here, we shift click um, a stack of glass bottles. They'll just go in there like so. And that's pretty cool because, uh, well, just, yeah, uh, this won't actually work later on. So we have one invalid brewing stand, two invalid brewing stands, and three, um, three invalid brewing stands with these two items here. Um, oh yeah, and this has the potion tag of a strength potion. Okay, that's what's going on there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that's pretty cool. And we got the hopper that was in there. We can probably remove this actually, but uh, we won't. So yeah, now part of me is wondering what to do with these exhibits that are no longer working because this used to have an armor stand in it. And I actually don't know why it's like reset. I, I really don't. Um, we could possibly reload this chunk, but I don't want to do that. Um, and it's been a while. Now the other thing that we probably will be doing some chunk maintenance on, I'm probably going to be doing a video about how to, how I go about that sort of stuff because that is a part of this where, you know, I do need to do a lot of chunk maintenance uh, coming up here. But all my villagers are gone um, and it's not due to a zombie because I, I mean, it could be, but it's really unlikely. Um, basically because where would they spawn around here? I had this place lit up so well. Um, up here they can't, there's slabs and, uh, it's too light. So I guess they could have spawned down in there maybe. Um, but I really don't know. So yeah, um, <laughs> this area here will definitely need to be maybe redone or retried. Um, just maybe reloaded too. Uh, this here is has been pumping out the pumpkins and melons pretty much all the time. But um, yeah, so there's, there's going to be a lot of chunk maintenance going on and I really want to show you guys that process, but I don't think you guys would be interested in an actual episode of that. So I might do a separate video about chunk maintenance with uh, like unobtained worlds type of thing. Unobtainable worlds, not unobtainable worlds. What do we call these worlds? Uh, glitch worlds, I guess, and just what to do, how to do it. I've done it once before, I can do it again. Um, I'm gonna do some more research this time. But with that being said, I think we should probably start work on um, cleaning part of our base up over here in this area. Uh, I'd like to redecorate this tunnel here. I'd like to replant the trees here. 
like to do a lot of maintenance around here so let's go ahead and get to it okay a little bit of work has been done so the previous tunnel that was right here has been completely filled in and we have moved the path over to here right like this uh, so basically this path just comes off of where this tent is here this is kind of the center point of our base so over here up here you come over here I put this little awning here because the river is gonna be going right through here or right under here rather so a little like a uh, Probably put some benches there or something. This is going to be a bridge over to there, and that's going to be terraformed a little bit better as so well as this, but not today. Anyways, I also redid the tunnels over here, like I said I would do. I put uh, soul sand out here and up here, kind of as like a uh, mud type of thing, like a salt solidified mud. And then over here, I redid the sides here with crafting benches and spruce planks. So I think that's good, and then I also replaced this front, so it's a bit more curved and has a nicer look to it. Um, and overall, I think I've done a pretty good job here of the aesthetics of the place. However, everybody, um, there is actually kind of not much else to do in today's episode, really. I think I got most of it done um, that I wanted to get done today, so I am going to instead spend the time left in today's episode in actually... Uh, talking about a new thing I want to incorporate into Unobtained, and that is uh, comments or comment questions or comments that I will read off every episode. Um, I'll write them in like a written book or something, and I'll just put down the episode the comment was on, and I'll answer it uh, best I can at the end of the episode. I'll probably spend like a minute or two on it, um, and I think that's a really good way to, you know, do stuff like that because uh, mainly really I just get a lot of um, more interaction I hope like that and you guys get to ask me questions that I may not actually answer so that's one uh, reason I'm doing it the other reason uh, or the other thing I want to bring up is alpha versions of un and unobtained and how this world is going to fare with uh, you know should I go back to alpha and all that stuff um, right now unobtained season three or two sorry two three whatever i've been thinking a lot about another season anyways season two is doing quite well um viewership wise and just engagement wise so i wanted to actually uh keep that kind of um going here until may hopefully we get to the most recent version and then you know we may even just continue this season i'd love to continue this season honestly but uh i do also know that people generally will get bored of things like this so um you know, even though this world is amazing, I think, uh, I do think that it might be worthwhile to, you know, maybe go back to alpha in a proxy world and then, uh, you know, bring that inventory. So we have, to, we, ha we can bring an inventory of stuff to the, uh, to this world. Right. And essentially we'd be kind of like getting that, those from alpha. Um, and all that in a different world, but then we'll take the level that update it to you know beta, etc. And then we will um, basically have like an alpha mini series, and then come back to this world. Uh, that's one of my ideas. Let me know what you guys think. Put comments and questions because I will be doing that next episode for episode 31. And as for a world download, I am planning on doing one at episode 40 and episode 50. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the big deal here. Episode 40 and episode 50. This is episode 30. I didn't want to do one um, now just because I didn't really plan for it. Uh, so episode 40 is the next download. Bye-bye. Have a good one, everybody.